Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. In the previous lesson, you have learned how to identify factors and multiples of a given number up to 100. So this time, I will discuss to you the difference between a prime number and a composite number. And this topic is about differentiating prime from composite numbers. Let's first define prime numbers. So a prime number or prime numbers are numbers that has only two factors which is one and itself. Here are some examples of prime numbers. So we have 7. So ang factors ng 7 is or are 7 and 1. So yung 1 at yung sarili niya. Another example is 11. So, another example of prime number is 11 dahil ang factors ng 11 is 11 times 1. Then, 23. So, ang factors ng 23 ay 23 times 1. So, kung papansin ninyo, ang mga factors ng prime number ay 1 at ang sarili niya. So, prime numbers can only be divided exactly by itself and 1. Wala nang ibang number na pwedeng mag-divide sa prime number kundi ang sarili niya at 1. Before we proceed to the definition of a composite number, I will give you a trivia. Did you know that 2 is the smallest even prime number? So 2 is a prime number dahil ang factors niya lang is 2 and 1. Kaya siya ang pinakamaliit na even prime number. Let's now define composite numbers. Composite numbers are numbers that has more than two factors. So, unlike sa prime number, ang prime number has only two factors. So, kapag sumobra na sa two ang factors, we call that as composite numbers. Here are some examples of composite numbers. Okay, so we have 9. Ano-ano ang factors or mga numbers na pag pinag-multiply natin will give us an answer of 9. So we have 9 times 1 and 3 times 3. Then, another one is 36. So isip ka ng number na kapag pinag-multiply, ang sagot ay 36. So we have 36 times 1, 9 times 4, 12 times 3 at 6 times 6. So, yan yung mga factors ng 9 and 36. So, let us list down the factors of 9. So, ang 9 has 3 factors, which are 1, 3, and 9. Sana lang yung simulat natin dahil na doble yung 3. So, 3 factors lang siya. Then, ang 36 naman has 7 factors, which are 1, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, and 36. So, meron silang more than 2 factors, kaya sila ay isang composite number. Look at the table below. So, these are counting numbers from 1 to 100. So, kung napapansin nyo, meron tayong mga numbers na nakashade ng blue. And these numbers na nakashade ng blue are prime numbers. So, just like what I said in the trivia earlier, na ang 2 ang pinaka-smallest even prime number. And, yung mga non-shaded or yung mga naka-pink naman na numbers ang composite numbers. So, kalimitan sa mga prime numbers ay add numbers. Ano ba yung add numbers? So, these are numbers that ends in 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Let's try to solve this problem. What is the sum of x plus y plus z if 13x, 19y, 29z is ascending order of prime numbers? So, paano natin to isosolve? We're going to find the value of x, y, and z. Meron naman siyang binigay na condition na sabi niya, 
ang 13x19y29z ay nakaayos in ascending order. So, prime numbers in ascending order. So, kung 13 to, ano yung sumunod na prime number after 13? So, we're going to find the value of x. Then, the value of y and the value of z. So, to find the value of x, y, and z, anong numbers ang kasunod ng 13 na prime number? So, x is equal to 17. Plus, so ano namang prime number ang kasunod ng 19? Which, that is 23. And anong prime number ang kasunod ng 29? And that is 31. So, the, we have now the value of x, y, and z. Then, we're going to get the sum of 17, 23, and 31. So, pag pinagsama-sama natin ang 17 plus 23 plus 31, we will get the sum of 71. Therefore, the sum of x plus y plus z is 71. Let's solve another problem. Give the sum of all prime numbers between 10 to 20. So, we are going to get the sum of all prime numbers between 10 hanggang 20 lang. So, ang first step natin is we list down all the prime numbers na nasa pagitan ng 10 hanggang 20. So, the prime numbers that are in between 10 to 20 are 11, 13, 17, and 19. Then, get the sum. So, ang ating sum is... 60. So, here are the things that we need to remember in differentiating prime numbers to composite number. Okay, so number 1 is neither a prime or nor a composite number. 1 is a special number. So, kasi kung iisipin natin ano bang factors ng 1 na kapag pinag-multiply natin, ang sagot ay 1. So, uh, the answer is 1 times 1. So, kukunin natin ulit yung factors ng 1 dahil kung isipin natin siya ay composite or siya ay prime, uulit tayo ng uulit hanggang sa hindi matatapos. Kaya ang 1 is a special number. Prime numbers are numbers that cannot be divided exactly and has two factors only. While composite numbers can be divided exactly, and it has more than two factors. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.